Hey, welcome to Textile Update. This is a bit of an introduction to uh, my favorite topic. I don't know why. I didn't grow up with sheep. I grew up with goats. Uh, although, separate little thing, you can totally make textiles out of goat hair. Uh, it's called cashmere or mohair. But uh, I, for some reason, I just really love wool. I think I love wool in part because of the way that it feels when you touch it. I love it because of its versatility and I love it because of the heritage associated with making things from wool. If you visit my uh, gallery website, www.gwendolynstudio.com, you'll actually see examples uh, such as the one behind me on the wall here that are made from felt. Uh, where I use uh, water and heat, uh, moisture, agitation, basically hot water, soap, and bubble wrap to tangle the wool fibers together to make something that's sturdy enough that it can just hang on the wall, right? I can't pull any fibers off of the surface of it, right? Uh, it could be a hat. It's not. It's all hanging, but it could be a hat. And, um, and that's just something really cool that wool can do. I enjoy knitting. And so obviously uh, wool is an important part of my knitting as well. I love how when I knit with wool, uh, it actually makes my hands uh, feel good as I touch it. Uh, I know that there are people who say that they're allergic to wool and find that wool is too itchy for them. Of course, one of the answers to this is that uh, low quality wool, the fibers are very big around and you know how when you cut your hair, like the cut ends scratch you, right? It's because the, the, the end is flat, right? Uh, hair grows out of our scalp when we're little babies or after we've had chemo uh, in sort of a tapered tip, right? So lamb's wool has that little tapered tip on one end or a uh, fiber like cashmere is really, really fine. Uh, in fact, um, most studies have shown that people aren't actually allergic to wool, and I say allergic with quotes around it because an allergy implies an immune system response. In most cases, when people say that they, that they can't wear wool or wool makes them itchy, it's because they get little, you know, uh, uh, red bumps from being scratched by the wool. So it's like a physical problem. But I'm lucky. Uh, wool doesn't do that to me. I can actually wear some pretty, pretty um, thick wool sweaters right against my skin and um, my skin has learned to accommodate it. And, and of course, in some cases, uh, like that gorgeous alpaca sweater hand knitted in Peru that I got when I was in the Faroe Islands, designed by Gurren and Gurren. <sighs> right? It's so soft. And so I have no problem. I could like wear that as pajamas. Wool is a wonderful fiber, very useful for things like socks. Uh, my little niece wears them as pajamas uh, and just loves running around in the house in them because she's the exact right temperature all the time. There's a reason that um, people from colder climates uh, wore wool for and still wear wool. So uh, I just am going to be honest and confess to you that I that I just love wool. And um, when I talk about protein fibers, I'm going to try to give the same amount of credit to silk, but I just really love wool. And I know that I'll be making way more videos in the future where I talk about wool and uh, all of the different cool things about wool. But at the very least, uh, let's just start with the fact that wool is a protein fiber, comes from an animal. It's the protein, the polymer is amino acids, which is kind of cool because it means each animal can put together the different amino acids, kind of like an amino acid alphabet, to make different types of polymers. And they can have different properties. As you know, some of us have uh, hair that has a crimp to it, uh, right? Like a curly hair. Uh, some people have wavy hair, which is a 2D crimp. Uh, some people have hair that's perfectly straight, like silk. Some of that has to do with the uh, amino acids that our body used to make the polymers. It's just so cool. It's chemistry. All right. I can't wait for us to learn about wool. Super. Super.